Hi guys, my name is Olivia um, and we've been reading from Shakespeare's Othello and in this video I'm going to be responding to the week 8 um, question which says what does Othello say about race and the other? How does that connect to today? Um, and so I'm just going to read from there was one particular line a few lines that excuse me, stuck out to me um, and this is coming from Iago this is where he's talking to Bra Brabantil, um about Des... I'm sorry, I'm getting their names so messed up. Des... Des... How do you say her name? Oh my God. Desdemona? Yes. Um, his daughter and marrying Othello, who is an, who is an other. Okay? So he's saying to um, Desdemona's dad, Zaun, sir, you are one of those that will not serve God if the devil bid you. Because we come to do you service and you think we are ruffians, you'll have your daughter covered with a barbary horse. You'll have your nephews neighed to you. You'll have your courses for cousins and genets or genets, I don't know how to pronounce it, for Germans. And so he's basically saying that if Desdemona decides to start a family and marry this man, he's comparing him to a barbary horse and, being, and saying that their whole family line will be corrupted by her procreating with an other. And so um, I feel like this relates to today. I definitely think it's on two different scales, but this relates to, to today um, quite differently because I feel like the, the, the mixing of races is actually fetishized now um, way more than it is seen as... Um, something to avoid i feel like it's something that is way more embraced now people love to mix kids and you know having the the medium brown skin tone and the loose curly hair type of situation um and i think it's great um but i definitely think that the way that it's seen here is like oh my gosh your kids are gonna be damaged your yeah you're like your family line is gonna be damaged because she's mixing with this other person and i think here it's coming from more ignorance than yes it's a it's a um a certain level of hate um and prejudice but i really think it's more ignorance because they're not used to to um people that are other so if they don't look like them then i just feel like they don't understand them and they're not interested in understanding them as you know just regular human beings just like them and yeah i think that's the bottom line